This is a rather um, sarcastic article by Brian Jones. Why churches should euthanize small groups. Him. Send him the emails. Him. It's a little on the snarky side. Number one, they help Christians make shallow friendships. Well, that seems like a good... No, wait, a they... Maybe, maybe the small group concept that this will really get people acting as friends hasn't worked out so well. I would simply ask you, I'm not in a small group, so I'm, I, I, I can't say, have you developed deep friendships? Well, if you have, then don't worry about this particular number. But maybe if you've been small grouping or you've noticed that it really hasn't accomplished that close knitting together, maybe it's time to put them to sleep. Number two, they help Christians feel a tenuous connection to their church. Once again, sarcasm award goes to Pastor Jones here. Do you feel more connected to your church because you're in a small group? A lot of people, that's a statistic from George Barna, a lot of people have been saying, not so much, it's not helping. Does your small group help you feel connected to your church? And number three from the pastor, small groups help Christians act like other Christians in the evangelical subculture. And I don't think he means that as a good thing, <laughs> because the evangelical subculture is about an inch deep. It isn't very theologically rich, and we don't see a lot of profound fruit coming out of the silly evangelical culture, which we've seen so many times here. Do you grow deeper? Do you have better friendships? Are you acting more mature? Do you see more spiritual fruit from your small group? If not, Maybe, just maybe, I'm not saying to euthanize them, that would be the pastor. Maybe it's just time to rethink them.